One of our neighbors likes to joke that I'm the mayor of Waitsfield because everywhere I go around town, someone will, will stop me and strike up a conversation or they'll have a question. I'm Sean Lawson with Lawson's Finest Liquids. We started 12 years ago, and over the years, we've gained an incredible following. My folks introduced me to skiing when I was about 10 years old. We took our first trip from Jersey to the Catskills. I love the, the thrill of sliding down the mountain. I like the speed, but more than anything, I love, love it when it's snowing and we get some fresh, soft snow to ski in. Right after college, I moved out to Colorado. I got a college degree and my number one goal right away was to be a ski bum. <laughs> and then eventually, after a few years out west, I was really feeling the pull to come back to Vermont. There were two things that really drew me back to Vermont. The first was the people. I just really missed the, the close, tight-knit communities that Vermont has. And then secondly, I just missed the, the place and I found myself longing for the Green Mountains. I started telemarking in the mid-90s seems so graceful like dancing on skis. That had a pull for me, the beauty of the Telemark turn. It's that sense of balancing on speed and being out of control. So it's just walking that fine line that really gets, gets me energized, it gets my heart racing. It's carefree, didn't have a care in the world. Um, skiing, except having fun. There's a do-it-yourself ethic in Vermont, but there's also this idea of pursuing sort of the highest quality in whatever your endeavors are. And I think that, that a lot of people find that they're, they're passionate about something and people really apply that passion to their craft. I was pretty passionate about home brewing. And I wanted to make sure that that always played a role in my life, whether it was just as a hobby or maybe something more. We started 12 years ago. After a year, I decided to quit my day job and work in the brewery full time. For most of those years, it was just a one man show. I did everything from start to finish. It's been incredibly rewarding and I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change a thing. People used to ask me all the time, oh, is it a full time job? I was like, oh yeah, it's a full time job with overtime and part time pay. <laughs> so money was a challenge, um, but it was just enough to demonstrate that the business model was successful and that I could grow it. From day one, we couldn't make it fast enough to meet the demand of all those thirsty fans out there in the field. It'll be four years this coming summer, we hired our first employee. Having a sense of adventurousness, of being willing to put the bottom line on the line by putting our people first and saying that we're going to pay our staff a, a living wage instead of having them rely on tips for their income. We have uh, what's called our sunshine fund in the tap room and so in lieu of tips we encourage our guests to make a donation to the nonprofit of the week that we're raising money for. And it's been an amazing vehicle for raising money for nonprofit organizations here in the Mad River Valley and in central Vermont. Life is so busy for me. The call of the mountains is, it's restorative. It's like, to me, I, I'm not a religious person, but you hear this all the time in mountain communities and in people who are passionate about the mountains, that the mountains are their church, their cathedral, and it's very much that way to me. I've 